I often say, or at least I think this, maybe I don't, I don't say it all the time, but I'm thinking it, is if I have to know who this dipshit is, you have to know too. <laughs> It's if I have to watch this, I the, the audience, they got to know too. And uh, Glenn Grothman, former senator, state senator in Wisconsin, now a member of the House of Representatives, right just down the street here uh, from where I sit, is a racist troll. He is a support. Back when I did, I did a couple of videos about why I left the Republican Party and voter suppression was one of them. And I talked about voter ID laws and he's actually featured in there justifying voter ID laws and saying that he thinks it's going to help Donald Trump win, which indicates it should indicate to you if you're thinking logically that, well, why would voter ID if it's only for voter security? Why would it help Republicans and hurt Democrats? He was featured in that. But there's all kinds of headlines. I've got a, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of headlines highlighting and reporting on his racist attitudes. And here's just, just a smattering. This is from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Glenn, and by the way, by the way, last video of the day, I'm a little, I'm a little uh, wiped out. The reason I'm going to talk to you about Glenn Groth, Grothman is the fact that he said some racist shit about Kamala Harris uh, just moments after he learned that Biden had stepped down. He was getting ready to get on a plane to D.C. and he had nothing but white nationalism to give to a reporter from the CBS affiliate there in Milwaukee. So with all that said, here is who he is. This is not an outlying moment for him. This is uh, a feature not a bug for Glenn Grothman. This is the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Glenn Grothman says it's almost impossible for a straight white men uh, for straight white men to become federal judges under Biden. <laughs> Finally, we straight white men have the champion we deserve standing up since we've had it so hard for so long in America. Thank you, Glenn. Where would I be without my savior, my advocate, Glenn Grothman? <laughs> Oh, what a moron. Fox 6, Milwaukee, Senator Glenn Grothman calls for Kwanzaa to be slapped down. You know, uh, setting his attentions to the most important matters. And he, the reason is because he calls it a fake holiday that was contrived by some black professor or something. Every holiday is invented. Glenn, I hate to break it to you. From Christmas on down, they're all a social compact that we hold this day to be sacred or, or important, and we will join together to celebrate it. Otherwise, there wouldn't be holidays. They're all made up dipshit. Here's the last one, and I'm going to read from a Washington Post article on this one. A Republican's comments on Black Lives Matter get pushback for calling to mind stereotypes. And this is where he says that black people, uh, they don't like the old fashioned family. Uh, I'll read you two paragraphs and then I'm gonna get to the clip. <clears throat> Trust me, we're getting to the clip. Quote, I bring it up because I know the strength that Black Lives Matter had in this last election, he said about the movement that helped defeat former President Donald Trump. Quote, I know it's a group that doesn't like the old fashioned family. I am disturbed that we have another program here in which we're increasing the marriage penalty. <laughs> and then Grothman frequently made headlines while in uh, the Wisconsin Senate for supporting bills that penalized residents who become parents before getting married because of his belief that starting families without marriage is harmful to children, a frequent talking point of social conservatives based on recent nonpartisan data from places like the U.S. Department of Education's National Center for Education Statistics. So he's just a vile racist. He's a vile white Christian nationalist who, who whines and complains and gnashes his teeth about the hard time that white straight men have in America while denigrating marginalized groups. So he was asked by a journalist named Catherine Merck from the CBS affiliate in Milwaukee about uh, Joe Biden stepping down and uh, if Kamala Harris is the nominee. And one, it should give you a little bit of hope that he does believe it's gonna be more difficult for Donald Trump to beat Kamala Harris but he really just drags himself right into the racist gutter 
by talking about the reason she's going to be picked is because of her ethnic background or whatever. Watch this. It is, I think, going to be more difficult to beat somebody who's not Joe Biden. Okay. Anything else about this decision that you wanted to say? No, I, um, I think it's going to be a, a difficult race. I think people can say you're going to be picking an unknown uh, for vice president, but to be honest, as soon as you're nominated for a national office like that, you become known in the first week. Is there anyone that you see challenging Harris that could potentially overpower, like that you think more people could get behind? I know there are some Democrats who don't like her, and she has the obvious weakness at the border, as well as she hasn't been the most articulate candidate so far. Um, but apparently, they feel, or a lot of Democrats feel, they have to stick with her um, because of her ethnic background. And um, so I'm, I'm sure there's some division there on that issue. Again, good that he says it's going to be di more difficult to beat somebody who is not Joe Biden. Uh, I don't know if I feel the same. We'll have to see how that goes. I don't just speak without evidence. Um, or at least a, a, a decent um, a framework for an educated opinion about something. But I like that. Isn't it great? He really just tells on himself that he's just a vile, sickening racist who's here to defend white men. Apparently they feel, or a lot of Democrats feel, they have to stick with her because of her ethnic background. Let me be the first to tell you, Glenn Grothman, dipshit extraordinaire, I am not supporting Kamala Harris because of her ethnic background. I would support her because she is the nominee of the Democratic Party and she is the opponent of Donald Trump, who poses a very real, clear, and present danger to the democracy of America, to the, the republic for which it stands, the flag, the thing that you venerate, the, 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 to the document that you rose your right hand and swore to support and defend against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Apparently that doesn't hold up. Your vow, your oath, your solemn word does not count because you're not defending the Constitution of the United States against all enemies domestic. When Donald Trump himself has said that all rules and regulations and articles up to and including the Constitution of the United States are, are, can be uh, removed, disqualified. Your guy. But let's talk about Kamala Harris's ethnic background as though it's a, it's a, a mark against her. It's, it tells you everything you need to know when the negative thing he thinks is negative is because she's black. Gross, not shocking, not surprising, but it needs to be known that this is what is going to be over the course of the next four months is racist att attack after racist attack. And not just from fringe influencers out there in, 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 on the internet, but from seated members of the House of Representatives. Just wait until Marjorie Taylor Greene sinks her teeth in what kind of racist trash she can say. This is someone who's relatively obscure. Just wait. Anyway, what do you think? I'd love to know. We can have a conversation in the comments. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. And of course, as always, as always, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Please consider supporting me with $2 a month to become a channel member. Help produce this content with me. Reach the millions of people that I do every month. I would appreciate it very much. You can become a channel member. Do just that. Two bucks a month. You can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. All these are fantastic ways to help support the work and I would appreciate it very much. Follow me on social media if that's your thing. Do not go sign up to follow me. Uh, I would not want to have that burden on my conscience. Uh, uh, I'm at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there. And I will see you next time. Until then, be genuine. Don't be Glenn Grothman. And take care of one another.